everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So today we're going to be comparing a $30 violin to a $10,000 violin and I'm going to be playing a few pieces on each side by side so we can hear what the difference is. So we're going to be starting off with this violin which is $30 from Amazon. There really is nothing special about this at all. It's just a cheap, the cheapest violin actually that I could find off Amazon which just came from China. There's no make or model specifically in it. It really is just the, the cheapest the cheapest of cheap violins I really don't think you'll find anything less than about $30 for a you know for a violin then we're going to be comparing this one which is my antique violin and the one that I use all the time and this is around about $10,000 worth I actually know very little about this violin I've had someone from the Amati auction house in London have a look at it and, and value it to see if they could tell me a little bit more about it but the the maker is unknown there is a label inside the violin but we don't know who made the violin the only real thing we know about this is that it's around about 1800 to 1850 it's a mittenwald german violin and basically it was it was once upon a time it was a baroque violin and Baroque violins often had shorter necks. So when we came out of the Baroque period and went more into classical music, oftentimes what they would do with violins is rip out the necks of the Baroque violins and then put longer necks in. So I do have a different neck on this violin than what was originally put in. The other way that they can tell this is having a look inside, there are tiny little wedges on the corner of the violins and that's how they used to make them in Baroque times. So let's get on with comparing a $30 violin from Amazon to a $10,000 antique violin.
that was comparing a $30 violin from Amazon, which is the cheapest I could possibly find, to an antique $10,000 violin. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as to which one you preferred. Could you hear the difference between the two? Do you think the price is worth the difference? Bear in mind it isn't always the sound you're listening to. It also has to do with the playability as well and how much easier it is to, to play this violin and also what kind of level it goes up to as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments underneath this video and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.